Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Amerlin Study. I'm Jess, your Amerlin Seat. So I'm sure that we've all spent an obscene number of hours watching the Wheel of Time TV trailer, and that's understandable because it's amazing. But I am given to understand that IGN did a reaction video or something, and that it was bad. They did a bad job with it like super bad. Well, I want to find out how bad because I haven't seen it yet. So let's watch it together. Here we go. Amazon Prime has released the first teaser trailer for The Wheel of Time, an adaptation so far, so of the good. epic fantasy series of the same name by Robert Jordan. The show God, that looks so Moran, cool, Lan. By uh, Rosamund Pike, a member of a group of female magic users named I just, this Aes is so bad. Honestly, y'all, I can't wait. Of the dragon. Right. Powerful champion prophecy to either save the world or destroy it. Uh huh. That George's is best accurate. Best-selling series spanned four. The books are huge and filled with detailed world building involving hundreds of characters from numerous nations and True. warring factions. Many of Swan, them wield absolute queen. powers with distinct rules. The uh -huh. trailer provides a glimpse of that complexity, so we're going to try to break it down and explain what's going on. Okay. Spoilers follow for the books and possibly the show. Do they though? The trailer opens with Nynaeve Almera, played by Zoe Robbins, telling Egwene Alvere, played by Madeline Madden, to be strong before pushing her off a cliff. That In is books, true. Nynaeve is the wisdom, a uh -huh. healer and leader of women of the farming village of Iman's Field. And Emmons. Egwene is... Yes. Jordan based it in part on the Shire from The Lord of the Rings, which was a huge inspiration Did he? the series in I don't general. think that's true. The voiceover is reading the first lines of the book. The Wheel of Time Turns. Jordan based his cosmology on the cyclical no. view of time and reincarnation found in Buddhism and that was... Hinduism. These three young men happily sharing a drink are about to have their worlds rocked and become that is true. fantasy heroes. They are Perrin Abara, played by Marcus Rutherford, Matt Cawthon, played by Barney Harris, uh -huh. and Randall Thor, played by Joshua Stradowski. Yosha. All three are Tavarin, people with powerful destinies woven around them by the Wheel of Time. This appears to be Alakir Mandrak, but... holding the Golden Crane okay, signet ring. Okay, wait, hold on, Alakir hold on, hold on. Last... This appears to be Alakir Mandrak. Holding what? the Golden Crane Signet Ring. Alakir was the last of Malkir, a kingdom that fell to the Great Blight, a corrupted wasteland created by the Dark One. What? The cosmic force of, before Malkir fell, Alakir passed his what? ring to his son, Lan Mandragoran, and sent him away to safety. Egwene rises from the water uh. streaked with paint in the colors of the factions of the Aes Sedai known as Aja. While almost all Aes Sedai join one of these groups, Egwene actually never does due to plot reasons. She is instead considered to be part of all of them. Aes Sedai go through a trial in which That's they confront you... fears from their past, present, and future. This scene could represent that. No. paint showing her unusual future within the organization. Well, I Three mean... Three representatives from each Aja are chosen to sit in the Hall of the Tower, a central council of Aes Sedai responsible for making policies and exercising the will of their leader, the Amirlin seat. While Aes Sedai in the books are just described Amirlin? as wearing short... Academy Award nominee Sophie Okaneda... God, she's a queen. I love her so much. Shea, the Amirlin seat who... This is the city of Tar Valon, and the volcanic mountain in the background is the Dragon Mount. Both the volcano the Dragon and Mount? the island where the city was built. The tallest building in the city is the White Tower, which was built after the breaking to house and train female Aes Oh, Naves is right. It does kind of look Marine like a of balls, is a it? member of the Blue Aja, who dedicate themselves to righteous causes and generally saving the world. She's yeah. seen here wearing the blue shawl that indicates her faction and the Great Serpent Ring given to all Aes Sedai. Which Yoruboros, is the exact the same ring. The tail is a symbol of eternity and is also the logo of the show. Sadar, the female half of the world, is described as a river of power, and Aes Sedai must surrender to its flow in order to channel. Egwene floating in a river is likely part of her training to use her ability. No, it's a not. Of the green Aja channelers produce a white glow when using their power. Ever since the breaking of the world, men who Golden glow. become mentally unstable. The Red Aja is tasked with finding male channelers and either killing or stilling them, permanently cutting them Gentling. off from the ability to access the One Power. Priyanka Bose plays Alana Mosvani, a green Aja Gosh, she looks badass. in the second book in the series, The Great Hunt. Rand's childhood best friend, Egwene, is Rand's primary love interest in the early books. They seem to be sharing an intimate moment while camping at Shadar Lagoth, where they no, that's not where they are. from Emmons Field. Lan like becomes this? Moraine's warder. Like, they're going to be banging and Shadar Logoth? Like, what? Also, if you, if you, like, it's obviously the common room of the Wine Spring Inn. Use your eyeballs. Lan becomes there Moraine's warder and accompanies her on her quest becomes? to find the Dragon Reborn he is. to protect him from the Dark One. 
He's played by Daniel Henney. Yes, he is. Nogain Ablar, near Drawl, are a type of shadow spawn that have no eyes but can actually see very well. God, that is... They command Trollocs and are extremely capable fighters themselves. That's everything we spotted in the trailer. Amazon's The Wheel of Time premieres on November 19th. Are you looking forward to the show? Have any questions about the trailer? Yes. Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch. Yeah, you know... I feel like they got a lot of it right, but the stuff they got wrong, like, why do you think Lan's dad is coming into this? Like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Let's take a look at some of the comments here. Jesus, there's a pronunciation guide in every single book. There's no excuse for this mess. Accurate. It's not stealing from a man, it's gentling them. Stealing is for the female I said, ah, yes, that is correct. This is not a trailer breakdown. This is a spoiler-filled preview of the story. However, pronunciation of literally everything was incorrect. Men are gentle, not stilled. This video hurt my Wheel of Time soul. It hurt my Wheel of Time soul as well. Wow, just a horrible breakdown. Inaccurately describes half the lore, spoils major plot points, and can't even pronounce or stay consistent with pronunciations of basic lore terms and names. There is literally a glossary with definitions and pronunciations at the end of every book in the series. This is a horrid video and does a disservice to all viewers, core fans, and newcomers alike. Yes. Take this down. Put people who have read the books in charge of remaking this video, then try again. This might actually be the dumbest thing I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is not a trailer breakdown. This is spoiling major plot points for the entire run of the series. Plus, they got some things outright wrong, and the pronunciations? Wow. Whoever produced this video and greenlit it should be fired. Please do not do another video on Wheel of Time, IGN, ever. Wow. No, a wolf brother doesn't physically communicate with wolves. That's what anyone does. A wolf brother psionically communicates with wolves. You've got you there. I was thinking the exact same thing. Not the psionically part, but like not physically communicating with them. It's Not only was this not a breakdown, it was a spoiler-filled summary of the story in which many things were just incorrect and about every fourth term or name was pronounced incorrectly, which is made worse by the fact that there's a pronunciation guide in the back of every Wheel of Time book, Really embarrassing for IGN and the team that worked on this, showing little professionalism and diligence in making the video, while also frankly disrespecting the source, ma source material and its fan base. As Sam Wilson said, do better. This is really embarrassing. Pronunciations for the same characters changing at random within the video, spoiling things in books so much further down the road that didn't need to have been covered in, the, in an intro to season one, even with a spoiler warning. That was rough. It's like having season eight of Game of Thrones spoiled in the season one recap video. Whoopsie! <laughs> what in the hell was this breakdown? He sounded so confident in saying who the guy with the ring was and what the ring was, yet he was completely wrong, lol. Wow, that was... That was quite a thing. Everyone is right. That, that was bad. They did a bad job, and they should feel bad. Wow. Like, the Lance dad thing? I... Anyway. That is all I have for now. Please make sure that you like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.